Ish. Ish. Yes. Uh oh. I am live. <laughs> stay. Everything stay. The camera is about to fall down. We're all going to die. The usual effect this makes me look really shiny. There we go. That's a bit better. Good evening. I am hoping that it actually is Friday and I've got my days right because it has been a little bit of a, of, of a mess. I'm all over the place. So, guys, welcome to Woody's World on a Friday night, uh, Friday night live. Uh, Simo, how is it going? A evening indeed. Uh, Tom, what is the crack? How is everybody getting on? Everybody's good, I take it. Uh, it has been an, an interesting week here. Uh, I have been doing lots of chainsaw stuff this week. Lots of chainsaw stuff. Have I been doing chainsaw stuff all week or was that last week as well? It's hard to re remember. Do you know that? Every day just sort of rolls into one. Uh, it's, it's, it's very hard to remember. So let me see now. Yeah, I think it's really that. Yeah, so what what has everybody been up to, guys? How how has everything been out there in the real world? Uh in in Wally's world, it has been a lot uh nice. 560 Mark II, very, very nice. I would like a 550 Mark II, I think. Uh if if I could get one, I think that's that's what I might go for. Uh and there could there could be some news on 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 the funding front as well, but uh I, I, I don't know anything about that just yet. That's sort of a little bit up in the air. So uh, what what have I been doing? I've been playing with chainsaws. I've been adjust, adjusting carbs. I have been testing new. Yeah, that was definitely this week. That could have been Monday I did that. Or Tuesday. I don't remember. The, the video, I, I put the video out pretty much straight away after I had done it because I wanted to. Uh, what did I do? Oh, Jesus, I don't remember. Do you know that? Chippy, how's it going? We'll talk about carbs in a little bit because I want to talk about carbs. Uh, Chippy, Chippy was uh, was giving me a little bit of help today on a on a carb issue. Uh, you, if if you look at the shorts that I put up, two shorts today, guys. If you go and have a look at those shorts, they they will help explain what is going to what what, what we're going to be. What is that? What we're going to be talking about in a little while. Uh, it 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 is. Uh, it's it's evening here. It's seventeen minutes past eight in the evening. Okay, so what did we get up to this week? I was splitting firewood. I was cutting firewood, and I was upgrading chainsaws. Okay, so I made I put out a wee video about me uh, mucking about with the five two five. Peppy, how's it going, buddy? And basically, when when I put the video out, Chippy came on and said, "Listen, your uh, your 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 carb is a little bit off on the on the top handle saw." So Chippy, what I did was, uh, so basically, he said to me, "It needs about uh, a one eighth turn clockwise." Okay, so on the high jet. So what I did was, I did the one eighth turn, and then I recorded that video. Now, Chippy. I went out after we were talking this afternoon. Now, I had pre-recorded that video, right? So I went out this afternoon and uh, not long after we were we were texting. And I, 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 I did what you said and I went back about a 118th. Hello, Bruno. And uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it as much. And then I actually put the saw into a piece of wood and ran it and I, I actually put a wee bit more clockwise on it again and I I, I, th I thought it was a little bit better. Now, you will have to explain why you thought I should have went back a little bit on it because I know something to do with witchcraft or wizardry. Wizardry. Hello, Bruno. Everybody wants to say hello to you. Come on, come on. You might as well do it. There you go, Bruno. Hello, Bruno. Look, you're up there. Are you coming up? Are you coming up? Are you just going to be awkward and then just go away? Yeah, he likes being awkward and going away. Grant, how's it going? 
uh, so that is what I did. So I I I I, uh, I had a little bit of chainsaw mechanic and uh, wow, where are you, Simo? I've asked you this before, but I don't remember. Sorry. So basically, what happened was a couple of weeks ago, Oregon sent me that kit. Yeah, the the nano cut. Yeah, of course, uh, Chippy. Jesus, much appreciated. You know, uh, I understand. I understand completely. Uh, I, ju I just wanted to, uh, I, I originally wanted to send you the video in response to what you had commented on the first video. Nice. Yeah, I don't have a machine either. I just use an axe. But I use a saw to cut them down. <laughs> thanks grant i agree oh you're in finland okay it's it's coming up as a black flag i wonder i wonder can i get the flag no emojis found well that's great so yes there's a cat It has to be in the travel section, doesn't it? No. No, it doesn't, Wally. You're too stupid for YouTube now. Yes, you're too stupid for YouTube now. Now I don't know how to get rid of the emojis. Uh, yeah, so I, ju I just wanted to see what it was like with the one eight, with the little tiny turn clockwise. Uh, but then I went, I went back and I, I did what you had said. So he, he said that go back a wee bit and what I had done and you, you are you are right it's it's minute adjustments on that saw so but when when I put it into the wood I felt that it was a little bit boggy compared to what it had been earlier on so what I did was I just put it into the wood and uh, give it a wee bit uh, and the 181 was a disaster when when I tried to when I tried to, to adjust the low screw it just, I, I mean, little, a tiny adjustment, and the saw was dying all the time. Wouldn't start dying, so I had to go up a little bit on it. But uh, I, I, I think it was, uh, I, I, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I posted a short as well, which was before the final adjustment. Okay, so we'll have a watch of the short, and let me know what you think. It is, it does feel a wee bit more responsive on the trigger, like, like, like you were, you were talking about. So, how do I, how do I get? How do I get that away now? The weather is rainy. It has been pissing rain for days. Love it, Grant. Thank you very much. There's a dog stuck somewhere. There's a dog stuck somewhere. Thank you very much, Grant. Uh, that is so nice of you. Woohoo! That's for the dogs. <laughs> the dogs stuck downstairs. So this this is what has been happening, Grant. I don't know if uh, if if you're uh, you, you're you're new enough to the channel. So basically, I have a lot of saws. I have well, I don't have a lot of saws. Not compared to some of you crazy men. I have some saws. I have like six chainsaws. Uh, three good runners right one not so good runner the one not so good runner is is the one that i'm i'm, I'm thinking of replacing instead of trying to fix it <laughs> because when it comes to carbs and adjusting carbs and stuff like that i am lost i am lost i am not a mechanic i'm not mechanically minded i'm sure i could teach myself to be because i i i, I sort of can teach myself to do a lot of things uh i am sort of more woodworking minded for some reason no not for some reason it's in us my two brothers are joiners my uncles are joiners you know what i mean so it's 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 uh i do enjoy working wood but uh so what happens is that these these guys talk me through all these these, these things so i'll be running the saw uh
I will be running a saw and these guys, the wizards out there, will be going, oh, like what Chippy did. You need uh, like the, the most minute adjustment. <laughs> I was like, I can't hear it. I actually thought that it sounded a bit on the exhaust. It sounded that the exhaust was a bit funny. Uh, yeah, only six, Peppy, only six. I have a very small shed. So, and I only have two hands. So, <clears throat> so what happened today is I adjusted the carb on the 181 and then I also adjusted the carb on, on the top handle saw. Right. And I made a video of the top handle saw. And guys, I, I'm going to title the video The Most Dangerous Thing You Can Do With a Chainsaw. Because when I do a video of myself using the top handle chainsaw, 50 50 the comments or people are going oh my god that's so dangerous you're so crazy what are you doing you're going to die because you're using the top handle saw and you're not a tree surgeon <laughs> now the top handle saw is a 25 cc saw yes i understand the risks if you're using it one hand and it's up like this but if you're using it two-handed and you're doing safety the same way as you normally would i don't get it you know, I have an 82cc saw and nobody has ever called me a madman for using it. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's, I, I, I just don't get it. People are nuts when it comes to chainsaw. So I've, I, I actually come on and said, uh, oh, the car, it's great. My God, Seymour, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. And the the top handle saw I bought new, the 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 one eight one Husqvarna, uh, I got from my auntie, but I traded that, so I worked for her. I did a lot of work for her, and she gave me the saw. Uh, the three six five that I have, I bought second hand. I think it's two thousand and thirteen, maybe. Uh, so it's about an eleven year old saw. Oh, the four, the four, three, five that I have, that was a new saw. I bought that new. That was my first saw. My first pop. Bruno, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sure. And this is the thing. I put a 20 inch bar on the 181 with a brand new Argon chain. It was ripping. Once once I did that little carb adjustment. Now I had it, it it didn't go right. And I have a video on this as well, right? So it didn't go right. So I, I, I adjusted it a quarter turn clockwise, right? And it, it was okay. And then I sort of went a wee bit again and it was okay. And then it, the saw just ran on its own for a little while and the chain was flying and everything and I wasn't even touching anything and I went and died. So I I reset the high oh, Bruno, look at your slabbers. I reset the high jet and started again with it. So th that was the final video that you heard. Uh, I know, I know, I know, Jimmy. <laughs> I, I had asked Argon for a 24 inch, but oh, thanks for licking my head there. What are you doing? Why are you pushing back at me like that? What are you doing? What is it? What is, why, do you, why do you feel the need to do this every time I'm in a live stream? He never does, like, never ever does this. I'm going to turn him around. And Look. He won't look at himself. <laughs> Get down. Get down. Good boy. Good boy. You can stay up here with me. I'm not talking to anybody else. You're a good boy. But such a sensitive dog, boy. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. It it for me, uh uh a 20 inch bar is generally all I need. I would actually say on the 181. I would be happier with a 28 inch bar because the only time I really use it is if I am in big wood and you know, the wood here can get really big and the big wood is all as hard wood. So it's all as a big beach or a big sycamore or something. And, and you know, they, they be five foot, you know, like three, four, five foot in, in thickness you're talking about. So I've, 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 I was cutting one up that, that beach that I'm splitting, that I'm splitting at the minute. And it was, it was 50 inches, I'm going to say, at least, because I, I both, the saw didn't meet when I came at it from both sides. Uh, 
So for the stuff like that, but how often would you use it? You know, once in a blue moon. It felt like a, a, a very different saw with the 20 inch bar and chain on it, I have to say. It was it, it was really nice and it feels more balanced. The 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 24 inch bar makes it heavy, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. So it would be a 28 inch bar grant I'd be needing for stand up and book, you know. So uh, I sent Bucking across the video of the 181 just to see what he says, but he, he hasn't got back to me yet uh, because it was him that actually pointed it out to me in the first place. Guys, I went looking the last... I went looking, right, at... Uh, I, I wanted to return the favour from Oregon because they're sending me all this gear, right, you know, and I'm dead happy with it. Uh, and, you know, because it's amazing, you know, because, because I, do, I don't have a lot of money. I can't afford to just go out and buy a bar. So I, I went and said, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get, uh, I'll get a 24 inch bar for the 181, but I'll get an Oregon one. So I'm running the Oregon. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving them a bit of promotion and stuff and testing it out as well. Man, it was 120 quid, 120 quid for a 24 inch bar which is like $150. Uh, so, see, a 32-inch would be massive. Marlon, how's it going, buddy? So, uh, they, they are so expensive, so expensive. Uh, you know, so I was thinking a Husqvarna, get, a, get one of those new lightweight Husqvarna bars, uh, you see, Simo, that's what I would be running. If I had a 550, I would only be running a 15 or an 18 inch bar. And I wouldn't be running anything else because what I would be using it for would be between 10 and 12 inches. If not, you know, between probably between 8 and 12 inches in, in diameter. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's uh, it's just I don't, I don't need it. Do you know, I don't need it. So if that makes sense. Oh, Jesus, the Canadian. Let me see. Hundred and fifty sterling in Canadian dollars. Jesus, two hundred and sixty dollars, two hundred and fifty eight seventy. Jesus. My God, that's, that's a lot. That is a lot. You know, let me see. Let me, uh, let, let me go the other way. That would be 70 pound here. 120 Canadian dollars is 70 pound in in uh, in in British. Uh, that is mental. Uh, we ran some gnarly enough stuff. Uh, I, th I think he was running some pretty dry stuff to it, through it as well. He he was telling me, sorry, this is in response to Grant. He was telling me that he had, uh, well, they took down a chestnut tree in his garden and he literally split it all. And he said, he said that he literally went and picked up the wood and walked into the shed and split the whole tree in an hour. And he said it was so painless. It was just brilliant. <laughs> he couldn't get over it. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, 100% Chevy. So it's it's like, Pappy, you're a crazy man. Yeah, I understand that, Grant, about the, about the disc. I, I had that myself. I I'm just I'm just trying to catch up. How can I get rid of these bloody stupid emojis?
There we go. Okay. So, uh, I was impressed with that little thing. Do you know, I would love to see a big splitter. Jesus, it must be unbelievable. Like, it's so easy. It's so easy. No, I don't bag anything, Simon. You're very welcome, by the way. Uh, not at all. Everything's just chucked out the back. Uh, I, 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 went, I went out the other day, and I split wood for an hour, and I really went at it and split and split and split and stacked, and I have, I have, uh, I have one bay. I'm going to say half full at the minute. So this is this would be for winter coming. So it'll be there. It won't be touched until maybe October. So what's it now? March to April to May to June, July, August, September, October. So we're talking about 10, 9, 10 months drying. So uh, I'm hoping it's 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 going to be enough. It, probably, it, it generally is. The only thing that's going to be in it that's not going to be dry enough is going to be the beach. But uh, I, have, I have a good load of... Uh, but it, uh, a good load of Scots pine in it as well, so uh, which which was nice. Jesus was nice splitting with. Just was swing split, swing split, swing split, swing split. Everyone, you know, uh, for an hour, a couple of little beats thrown in at the end just to break my heart and do my head in. You're gonna fell a 32 inch oak. Good man, Pappy. With your 135. Tomorrow, tomorrow I will not be on the internet, guys. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Tomorrow is the end of the Six Nations. Tomorrow it, there's three games in a row. But I'm working, so focus. I'm I'm working, so I'm not finished work till five o'clock. So I will miss one game. I'll miss fixed 15 minutes of the Ireland game. So uh, Ireland is playing Scotland tomorrow uh, after getting beaten by England last week. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sport is so cruel. So cruel. <laughs> How come nobody has mentioned the rugby? You know, where's, 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 all, where's all my English subscribers? Come on, you should have been waiting for that to jump onto it straight away. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Uh, and Sunday, of course, is St. Patrick's Day. So, woohoo! The Bigar and, and all that luck of the Irish stuff and everything. So, you know, so. Uh, basically, what St. Patrick's Day means is everybody, 80% of, 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 of people get wrote off drunk. It's sort, of, it's sort of like, I don't know, what's the 4th of July, like our, 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 our Canadian Independence Day? Is it called Canada Day? Canada Day? Canada Day. Jesus, what? Canada Day? Canada Day? Canada Day. Sorry. Uh, oh. And how do you get them to all these different uh, hiking, uh, all these different places on the hiking routes? I'm assuming these are some sort of shelters or something, or log cabins. And do you do you this for a job? Every day is St. Wally's Day. <laughs> oh, what a sin I committed today, guys. I cut down a couple of trees with the top handle saw as well. Oh, Jesus. They're going to have a field day. They're going to take me out, and they're going to throw me into a pond of water. That's good going. How how much how much uh how, how much do you think is in an ABC tote? Let's go with um cord wise. How many cords do you think would be in an ABC tote? I'm all I'm I'm interested in this, right? So so what what I did one time was I I measured out. Me, my mother got uh got a ton bag. We we they buy and sell firewood here in ton bags. It's not ton weight. It's the contents of a ton bag, like a big bag that you put a ton of sand in there. Uh, so it, 
so you buy a ton bag of wood and it's about 60 quid it's not cheap and when i stacked it out it was about half a face card right half a face card for approximately 80 dollars right about 130 canadians say uh I'll pay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like a ton bag, isn't it? And it's got big loops on the end. You can lift it up. With, you can lift it up with a with a forklift. Click the link. I'll share a link. Big, yeah. Check that. Okay, so they are they are ton bags. One ton of mixed hardwood logs is six hundred and sixty quid. Jesus Christ, it is it is so expensive. It is so expensive. Pappy, you I I would never post a chainsaw video in any chainsaw group. No way. They are so cruel. Jesus Christ of Almighty. Guys, the the the, the Arborist UK page is a is a minefield. Oh my god, I've never posted it unless I'm looking for something. Never ever would I share any any of the stuff that I'm doing on it? It's nuts. Jesus Christ. They are so harsh on each other. It is just absolutely mental. Mental. Like, guys, I, I've, I've done a chainsaw video before. I have been using, and this is the thing, right? So, technically, my top handle saw, I bought it as a carving saw, right? So, I bought it for doing woodwork, for notching logs, for to, to, to make, like, uh, stuff down in Red Branch for like making like cabin type things and you know shelters and all that jazz as you do and it is it is just mental what people what people will say it is just absolutely mental you're like you know <laughs> like they like literally you know they'll be like going are, are you you're a retard are you are you a retard how, how come you you know why are you doing this and so loud of firewood, Jesus Christ. What's that, Tom? Is that a thing for cutting firewood? Am I thinking of the right thing? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but what's what's the what did you win? If Tom, they're awful cruel by Jesus. Well, you see, this is what the guy posted on the last video. He says, oh, don't tell me, Wally, you're going to be up a ladder next and you're going to be cutting the top and trees off a ladder. And I was like, uh, delete next video. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. And then does it does it flip down or something? So it, so it tips it, tips it in, into the into the trailer or whatever the crack is. Here it is, uh, Sika Spruce. It is definitely the most common firewood you're getting here. Uh, it used to be large, but we, we don't really get large anymore. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be hopeful to buy a bit of large. And is it handy, Tom? Does it work?
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Maybe you should try. They seem decent enough. Somebody has left the window, left the door open. I use the ground. It's better for the back. <laughs> this is this is this is why you want big wood and a long bar, isn't it? Yeah. Grant. It's, it's the same here. Everything's owned by the forestry and you're not allowed to touch anything. You There is basically no firewood here. There's very little trees to start with and anything that is, is any, any wood that is blown down by the forestry, you, you're not allowed to touch it. You know, you, you could take it, but if you get caught, you'll go to, you'll go to court. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought, Tom. I thought they could go onto a trailer. I know it's the same here. So there's there's a, there's a mountain up the road where where I bought some wood off the forestry before, but they don't even do that anymore. And uh, wood that was left behind after they did after the, the clear felt. Uh, and ba basically, what happened is that the clear felt the section, but they left all this other timber, and because of the clear felt, there was no protection, and all that timber blew over. And you're talking hundreds of trees, massive things like you know like four foot but they're all softwoods all pines and stuff like that and 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 spruce and, and various softwoods european softwoods but you, you, you're not allowed to take them now it would be a nightmare to get them out anyway you would need to make it like it's there's a road but it's very steep ground and it's it's this stuff you're talking you know you, you'd have to go in and be cutting stuff that'll be 10 foot over your head and stuff like that just to be able to get in and get that stuff uh I know, Grant. I know. Oh, I know what you mean, Tom. I used to have one, right? And I used to literally just fill it full of logs, right? And I would, uh, like, a, a friend of mine made it, right? So it was quite wide. It was about, it was about this wide at the bottom, right? So you could, you know, if you, you could put like three decent logs into it if you could lift them up over the top but i would just fill the whole thing and then just cut them all at once and there'd be lots of wood flying everywhere you know these are lucky see more you see you use of decent forests we, we don't have forests here do you like this have you seen this before The lovely people at Barstalika, they like sending me stuff, and I like accepting it. And they are sending me more, which is woohoo! Yeah, that's the way to do it. Or a chain, a chain with a hook, it w would work quite well. Uh, it is, it is very handy, very, very, very handy. So. Well, it's a safety thing, isn't it, Simo? For you guys, it's it's like it's the same as as the up up in Canada and all these places where the cabins are always left open and there's always stuff for a fire in the cabin in case somebody needs it. Isn't isn't that the way it works? Be back in one second. Here I go. Close the door.
Right, I'm back. Ed, how's it going, buddy? Oh, not you and Basil for dinner. So, yes, and he is right. Thumbs up, everybody, please. Please. So, uh, yeah, so a lot of splitting, a lot of cutting, a lot of sawing, a lot of playing with saws and dismantling stuff and, and remantling stuff, which is all as good as well. So, uh, Bob, how's it going, buddy? Big news, Ed. Big news from me or big news from you? Care to share? You don't have to. Don't don't uh, don't don't feel like you have to. Big news for me was 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 getting all that Oregon stuff sorted. That was that was a uh, big news. Uh, and that is about it. And yeah, Ronan saw us playing with carbs. Uh, was close that nobody gave the thumbs up. Happy. So playing with carbs and actually getting it to work this time and not being completely out of my depth, uh, it was it, it, it's good. I think I think you would sort of see. This is the thing. I sort of get to a certain stage with the carburetors. A dog sparked out in front of it. I don't know how much the cost. Uh, what, what what are we looking at? Uh, 32 inch. Uh, they cost a hundred and forty one pound. And the, 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 the equivalent in a Husqvarna X light or a Husqvarna light bar is a hundred and sixty seven pound. So. Let's 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 check this. One hundred and forty one and that's on sale. Let's go 140 uh, pounds to Canadian dollars is 241 dollars is what you're looking at for, for the price of one of those. Uh, so it'll be 200 Canadian for you. Well, there would there would be 241 uh, Canadian if you were to buy them here. That's the way it works. Uh, so oh yeah. <laughs> they do love the fire, don't they? Oh brilliant, Ed. Brilliant. I did I I, I forgot that you's uh that you's rebuilding or, re or renovating. Remind me again. That's that that must be brilliant, hey. Uh, I might end up uh, I might end up with nothing but chainsaw parts. <laughs> like why why are they so expensive? Why are they so expensive? Let me like let me go. You, you, you can't even get them. Do you know that? You can't even buy them. There's not even people selling them on eBay or anything like that.
So it, for an 18 inch bar, it's 52 quid for a still bar. And this is it. Oh, there's a still light bar. 20 inch, 30 quid. No, 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 no. I give up. I'm putting that away. I'm going to stop knocking the stuff down. It's doing my head in. It's very bright. It's very late. You see, this is the thing, right? So if, if, if I was going to buy one, you know, which I probably am, uh, I, I think I will get an Oregon one. This is the thing, Chippy. Just just to uh, stay frosty, Bobinski. Uh, this is this is just to 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 sort of return the favor of all the free stuff they have sent me over the years. Does that make sense? Am I being a bit silly? But uh, 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 that is what I would like to do. So uh, I, I I think I should. But I'll contact them directly and see what sort of a price they can give me. Uh, but I would like. For the 181, what size would you go for? And you're just right, hey. You're just right. Do you, like? It's a wonder they let you put the the burner into it. It really is. It's a wonder they didn't tell you to you know get rid of the fireplace. Uh, you, you're lucky. I would say I would go for a 28. 32 is massive. It's massive. It just feels like it's far too big. Like, <laughs> uh, it's size. Let's, uh, let's not worry about the brands or anything like that. It's size I'm more concerned of. Like, is, is a Husqvarna 181 a big enough saw to... Can we look at me, Barry? Is the Husqvarna one at one a big enough saw to 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 be pulling a twenty eight inch bar? Oh, Simo, that sounds amazing. Yeah, like the twenty four is handy, but I do feel like a twenty eight would be a better size. You know, just when you get into really big stuff. I've, I've never used them. Ed, I've never used them. Uh, I think... Does Doug use them? Is Doug into AFCO saws? Well, they can definitely oil. It's nearly nine o'clock. It's nearly ten o'clock off already. Guys, I've got I know, yeah, yeah. He is, he's into all sorts. I just want to talk to you about what is coming up, okay? What is coming up? Guys, I have the randomest video coming up on Sat on, on Sunday, which is St. Patrick's Day, by the way. I don't I know you guys a lot of you mightn't celebrate it, but guys, it is a fairly random video. I am not going to let you know anything else about it. And then after that, it's chainsaws, chainsaws, firewood, chainsaws, firewood, firewood, chainsaws, chainsaws. Uh, I see Tasman just put a video out there as well, guys. I'm going to sign off. You could all go over and at the Tasman and watch his video. Uh, guys, it's good to be back. It has been 
three weeks since my last confession. Can you believe that? Three weeks with all the various things going on around here uh, at this time of year. We, we family wise, we are in our busiest period. We have, we have Mother's Day and birthdays and, and, and everything between January and April. We have everything, sorry, between December and April, we have everybody's birthdays, dogs and cats and everything included, all squeezed into those four months. Uh, uh, Grant, I don't advertise. Zachary, how's it going, buddy? I don't really know um, how you would advertise a YouTube channel. Well, I, I know you can do it. I know you can pay for subscriptions and stuff like that as well. But I'm not really sure how else you would do it. Uh, in, 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 instead of just, I sort of just let it grow uh, organically, if that makes sense. So that people watch the videos and, and and hopefully share the videos and stuff like that. But uh, it's a slow process. So myself, myself and Buggin, and Buggin has about a year on me, I think. So going back about eight years ago when, when I first, nine, maybe nine years ago when I start when I started YouTube, um, Buggin was already up and running because he was, Buggin was probably one of the first YouTubers that I ever connected with. So I was watching his videos and I was commenting on his videos. Now he didn't have, I think he had maybe, he either had 600 subs or he had 6,000 subs. And uh, so we, we back and forth in the comment sections and then we became friends on Facebook and then we, you know, stuff like that. So a uh, long time ago, Jesus, when you look at him now, Jesus he is like, you know, brilliant. He's brilliant. You know what he, he's, he's, He's so skillful. Get cutting and posting. Oh, moderator. Sorry. Yeah. So this is it. Like, if, if, if you want the stuff, if, if we want the community to grow, right, it is up to everybody to help grow it. And that's, that's the way it works. So, so me sharing videos does nothing. Right, that's that. That's what I discovered, uh, Grant, from 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 doing this for as long as I have. So I, I have three channels as well. So I have another one called Red Branch Bushcraft, and I have the Woolies Mad World one. Red Branch Bushcraft, it will probably hit ten thousand subs before Woolies World does, and it's only three years old. Because see that three years old, because I I I uh, for the first five years of Woolies World, I didn't really know what I was doing. And I sort of recorded everything. And that doesn't work on YouTube. So, uh, Simo, you, you should hear my finish, man. Jesus, don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know a single. First, Danica is the only Finnish word I can say. And I'm not even pronouncing it right. <laughs> Man, you're doing excellent. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Don't ever be worried about, about your about your ability to speak three languages in front of us, us, uh us English speakers who can barely speak one. Do you know what I mean? So uh it's it's uh I I, I always think that's funny. I I I'm I am not i I'm not taking the piss around. Uh I always think it's it's funny when I meet a foreigner, you know, in an English speaking country. And they're speaking to me in English, right? And they're saying, "Oh, excuse, excuse me, I'm I'm not fluent in English, you know." And they are literally talking to me in English, and I'm thinking to myself, "I can barely speak English. You're you're doing way better than me." So that's what I mean, Grant. That's what I mean. You know, it's like, guys, the fact the fact that you can speak multiple languages is amazing. Well done. <laughs> I can speak a little bit of Irish, a little bit of Spanish, and a little bit of English. And sometimes I speak them all in one sentence. <laughs> uh, and Grant is right. Guys, if we want this community to grow, we share the videos. And that's, that's basically it. Uh, and and uh, I am good at that as well, Chippy, in a couple of different languages as well. Uh, so... It's so it's see this is the thing, Grant. It's something that I don't do. I don't come on and tell people to share videos. I don't do anything like that. I sort of always expect things to just happen. Does that make sense? Does it? 
Do, do you know what I mean? But if you do feel like it, guys, share and share away. Share and share away. So, uh, and maybe we will get that. I, I was hoping that we would have got the 10,000 by Christmas. But, guys, it's like it's like this. If I go into my analytics here and look at, uh, so I got 94 subscribers the last month, right? And if I put that up against, I used to be able to compare things. So look, I got 94 subscribers on Wally's World last month in the last 30 days. Guys, on Red Branch Bushcraft, I probably have about 500 subscribers in the last 30 days, right? So, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, give it a shove, guys. Let's do it. Get it out there. Yeah, a Peppy. Peppy, you see, Peppy, Grant, Peppy has four different accounts, and he has subscribed on them. <laughs> he has subscribed to all my channels uh, on four different accounts. And this is the thing. It's not about subscribers, right? It's about views and it's about community. That's the most important thing. So if if I would say I have nearly 10,000 subscribers and I would say maybe 6,000 of them don't watch my videos. Do you know what I mean? Because there would have been uh, people that subscribed for Bushcraft or something like that. So they just haven't unsubscribed. It's, 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 a, it's about that core that you keep watching your videos and commenting all the time there's nine of you guys here who are consistently here most of you guys are consistently here every friday when i go live do you know what i mean so this is the thing do you like your ice fishing videos well this is the thing you see See, this, this is the thing, Chibi. It's a toss-up between the videos you like making and the videos that people like watching. So uh, that's 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 why I have two channels. <laughs> Three channels, sorry. Because the, the the chainsaws and the bushcraft don't don't cross over, right? Because what would happen is somebody likes watching chainsaw videos, right? And they come to my channel for a chainsaw video and then they subscribe. And the next video I make is a bushcraft video. And when that is put in front of them by YouTube, they don't watch it because they're not interested in that. They like chainsaws and firewood and stuff. So they don't watch that video. And then YouTube doesn't know who to show your videos to because you're confusing the algorithm. So that's why they say niche down. So all is continue to make the one type of video on your channel, right? Unless you have what they call, a, 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 what is the word? Oh, I can't think of it. A personality channel, a personality channel. And that's what I taught myself. Oh, sure, look, I can talk shit with the best of them. I'll go out here and I'll, oh, yeah, I'll just be talking away and making videos about absolutely random things. People will think I'm hilarious. They'll watch my videos. They'll love me. I'll be a millionaire. I'll be rolling in gold-plated chainsaws. No, it doesn't work like that. Ed, that's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. So, Chippy, people like your ice fishing videos. You know, dish out a load of them, see what happens. You know what I mean? So, so if, if you find a video, well, but this is the thing. So, ice fishing is very seasonal. So, you know, if, if you had an ice fishing video done really well, hammer out a load more you know make shorts out of that ice fishing video and put them out there as well and get a load while you can and then see what happens to the channel you know so yeah It's, it's, it's nothing here. Nobody does it. People don't even fish here anymore. It's not something you even see. You might see one fisherman on the river, and it's always the same person, and I see him maybe twice a year. <laughs> you know, it's, it's nuts. We don't have anything. There's no there's no decent fish anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, Ed. <laughs> Guys, I'm leaving that there. Ed, that was a cracker. That was a cracker. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Happy St. Happy St. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Guys, stay frosty. <laughs>